Welcome back, my crystalliers, to some more discourse. Alright. Uh, in the last episode, I threw a pan at nothing because there was supposed to be something to hit, but I sucked at it, apparently. More records from the plane all the way out here. And we found a maintenance checklist for our plane from 1991, and it had nothing checked off, so our plane was, like, destined to die. And why did they let people on it? Oh, I can push them around. That's kind of hilarious. Uh, alright. What's up, Jolene? Let's jet, honey. Yeah, let's go. Um, I mean, I already looked around, so yeah, let's go. Alright, let's do it. How far away are we? I guess not that far away. Didn't really mention anything. Finally, you guys shouldn't have left us. Really? What happened? I don't really see any damage or anything. What happened here? What? I mean, what? I don't see anything wrong. Are you okay? Hey, take a deep breath. Are you okay? Oh, hey, sorry. I kind of got carried away there. Um, yeah. Oh, wait. Dude, Garrett's belly is, like, scratched up. I didn't even see that. There was definitely more than just that one bear. Oh, God. Oh, y'all are just belly aching. What even happened? More boar showed up. We needed everyone here. You shouldn't listen to Jolene. We need to stay together, Rita. It's like they have a hive mind. It was all part of a bigger plan. <laughs> the first boar was just a distraction so the others could feast upon our flesh. We we tried to defend the camp like you said. And Garrett got slashed up pretty bad. He told us to do this, Rita. We could have all been killed. Hey, I'm I just got here. You don't have to you don't have to listen to me. I maybe could have done more if my legs weren't all cut up from these crabs. What did you want me to do? Swing Teddy around my head and beat the boars away? Plus, it doesn't look like you guys have brought anything back. Uh, I'm sorry guys. It's my fault. I'm sorry everyone. We lost the boar because of me. Doesn't matter whose fault it was. You all failed. <laughs> Great. You didn't help either. Really. Really. Seriously. Let's just get some rest. We'll find something tomorrow. Yeah, we'll find some. For now, we need to rest. I'm sure we'll be able to find something more. Yeah, let's get some rest after a long, tiring day of being useless. I don't like the Steve guy anymore. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not liking Steve. This isn't good. This is not good at all. We need to protect these pretzels. <laughs> we shouldn't just leave them out in the open. Yeah, so boars can stick them onto their backs and run away. Who's that? What the heck? You just found a. Oh, okay. I thought those were treasure chests, but it's like, it's like just supposed to be a suitcase. Anyway, we set up a bit of shelter early this morning. Grab a torch and we'll show you the shelter we made. Alright, where you guys, where you guys got going on? Ooh, I love how the fire looks. Where are you guys going? I mean, I guess I'll just follow you. I wanted to look around a little bit. Oh, okay. Wow, you guys actually put together a pretty decent shelter, all things considered. I guess this is our home for now, until we get rescued. This torch won't last forever, but I should have enough time to talk to a few people. Okay, cool. Um, let's talk to Garrett. Um, I actually have a friend named Garrett. Um, I bet you've never been on an adventure like this before. Virtual reality is pretty advanced these days, though it doesn't hold a torch to these past hours. I can't exactly em emulate... It can't exactly emulate starving or dying. And we're probably going to die out here. No extra lives or saved games to help us out. We're not gonna die. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Um, I, I like to be encouraging and positive. That's not gonna happen. Somebody will be along to rescue us. Man, it sure was crazy fighting off those boars. Those things are definitely not to be messed with. Normally, boars are one of the easiest enemies in the games. Oh my gosh! It's like I'm actually a first level warrior! <laughs> Yeah, I bet it was intense when they invaded us. We maybe could have put up a fight if we had all been there. I thought what Jolene, George, and I were doing would be more useful. This adventure is hard, that's for sure. Well, time to regenerate my hit points. Good night. I'm sorry, Garrett. I feel bad. This guy got cut up. And, and I got Teddy cut up, too. I'm already injuring people, and I just started the game. I don't really want to talk to those guys. I don't really. I don't feel like Jolene is all that important either, so... What's up, George? I'm ready for a good night of sleep. Yeah, we'll see how sleeping on the sand goes. I suppose we can't be too picky. I don't remember what kind of voice he gave me in the first episode. Why don't you and Jolene sleep next to each other? 
You two are married, aren't you? Well, Jolene has been complaining about my snoring recently. Which is odd, because it never used to bother her. Sorry, I guess that's none of my business. Oh no, it's fine. Man, I sure wish we could have gotten that board. Yeah, that was a little harder than I expected. What did you expect? The thing is as big as you are. Yeah, I'm glad we were able to do it. It reminds me of wrestling my cousins back on the farm. I was younger than all of them. That didn't stop me from putting up a fight, though. Did you ever win? Once in a blue moon. Now that I think about it, though, they probably just let me win so I wouldn't quit. This torch won't last for much longer. I could probably sneak in one more chat. Okay, so the rest of these guys I don't really want to talk to all that much, but I mean... Jolene, Steve I think his name is, and Teddy. I'm sorry about Teddy. Teddy's legs, man. I don't know. Um, let's talk to Steve, I guess. Finding you on the beach was a surprise. We were, uh, we were pretty lucky you were there, I guess. Why? I screwed you guys up so hard. Why the heck is that a good thing? Yeah, that was oddly disorienting, disorienting to wake up to. Yeah, Teddy was looking to find some supplies on the beach. All he found was that horde of crabs. <clears throat> and me. Yeah, you may have been better off with, without this group. We don't bring a whole lot to the table. I disagree. Yeah, you seem to be right. A group beats being alone. I'm better off with a group than by myself, even if we're not exactly a bunch of survivalists. I'm not sure how far my BFA and barista skills would get me out here. If I hadn't met up with you guys, I might not have been I might not have even made it this far. Groups have never paid off in my experience. What does he what does he have in his pocket by the way? Is that like a bloody knife? If that's a bloody knife in his pocket, I don't know what I'm I don't know what to expect from this guy. Oh come on now. The world isn't all that bad. It isn't all that good either. Well, let's get some rest. The torch is too low, it's time for me to go to sleep. Okay, I guess it's sleeping time. It does look very comfortable, but I guess we'll have to surf for the night. Might as well try and get some shut-eye. Okay. So I talked to George, his name was, Garrett, and Steve. Teddy's too crazy to talk, to have like a normal conversation with, so I don't know. Jolene seems kind of... Uh, too... Uh, what's the word? She just like thinks her opinion is correct all the time. Huh, looks like we actually made it through the first night of life. Yay. <laughs> I'm ready to get some things done today. I don't think you should be doing anything today. What? What do you mean? All you did yesterday was making things more difficult by leaving. Well, I'm gonna help you. You might need me. Fine, if you insist. I've got a headache already without having to argue with you. Maybe someone planted something in your brain while you were asleep. Which one of you was it? Speak up! I suspect Garrett. Huh? Why me? Alright guys, I think I just did some coffee. Caffeine withdrawal. Makes me feel like I'm in college again. Drinking something usually helps. Not salt water. I'm gonna check the wreckage for supplies. Maybe my string of bad luck will end. Who knows? There might be some water from the plane as well. We need to signal for help if we ever plan on being saved. We need some sort of signal. Let's explore the crash site. Let's find some fresh water. Um, fresh water. I mean, there might be fresh water in the crash site, so let's explore the crash site. But I don't know. The signal seems pretty dang important, but we need food and stuff like now. We need supplies now. Something to, you know, patch up these injured people. We don't have much food. Let's explore the crash site. There could be valuable supplies uh, that were left on the plane. Alright, dear, I'll help you to dig through the plane wreckage then. Someone should go look for a lake or spring with fresh water. Send Garrett, he seems like the kind of guy that could use a trip. I, uh... Oh, stop one, it won't be that hard to look around the islands. This is not a solo task. There's no way I can get the quest reward alone. <laughs> Take George with you, he's the best you can, He's the best help you can find. Just go, Garrett, you'll be fine. Alright, do your thing again, guys. Okay, Steve, you know where the wreckage is? Yeah, it's pretty hard to miss. Just follow me, it's not too far. Alright, lead on. Okay, so Garrett and George are gonna go for the thing. Teddy's gonna not do anything? I don't know if I want to leave Teddy alone at the crash site. I mean, the, the campsite. I want him to go with George and Garrett to see if we can help. Sure, it's crazy to see all this. It's hard to believe that anyone could survive that. Why were you on the plane? 
I was nominated to compete in, in the International Latte Art Championships. Well, that's awesome. Wait, so what do you do for a living? I don't really work as a barista at a local coffee shop. That sounds better than my job. Eh, going to college hasn't really paid off yet. Yeah, it's hard to say. If you ask me, college ain't even worth it. Nobody asked you. Well, I'm just saying my George never went to college. He takes me on vacations multiple times every year. That's really great, Jolene. Steve, were you on some business trip or something? Oh, um, well, I was forced to go on a vacation by our staff therapist. A forced vacation? That doesn't sound so bad. Yeah, well, I threw a stapler across the office at my boss. And you didn't get fired? I was given the you're a valuable asset to the company speech, so they still neglect to promote me, though. Okay, well, these are some very interesting characters, I could say that. I mean, that would make a great paperweight. Yeah, well, I only have one piece of paper, and it's a checklist telling us how terrible our plane was. By the way, the art for the plane looks freaking amazing, it looks great. Why do you have to stop and look at every little plane we come across, dear? Us city folk don't get to see nice, nice flowers all that often. I'm allergic to, well, everything. I'm not going to be stepping any of those. What are these, like, weird dandelions? They seem like it. Alright, what's going on here? Investigate plane further. Not yet. Nope, not yet. Let's see what we got going on over here. Okay, nothing I can click on. Uh, okay, nothing over here, nothing over here. What's going on on the left? Can I walk over here? No. Okay, so let's check out the plane. Hopefully there's some more food, maybe some kind of first aid kits. I mean, that's the first thought, right? There's probably some useful stuff lying around in here. That piece of metal there. Why can't... Why don't you see if you can lift it? By myself? Come on, guys. Help. Whoa! What the... I just picked that up. I mean, I basically did it by myself. That was awesome. Rita's... Amazing. Why do they tell... Nice, you guys are pretty strong. Yeah, Steve, can you get... Oh, yeah, okay. Well, it comes with working on the farm all these years. Steve just, like, hung out under a hunk of metal, and then I was worried that the, the thing was just gonna fall down and crush his head. Do they teach that in those college of you, colleges of yours? Uh, actually. Okay, let's focus, guys. Just start looking for supplies or whatever. Oh, I think I see something over there. Oh, cool, what is that, dynamite? Oh, awesome, it's a box of emergency players. Okay, that makes more sense. Weird, it kind of smells like alcohol over here. Oh, God. That ain't alcohol, it's jet fuel. Steve, your cigarette! Holy crap! Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. I'm surrounded! Try to jump out. Stay where you are. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, stay. Just stay where you are. I'll, I'll think of something. Oh, God. Well, hurry up and think of something fast. I don't think I can have much time. Look there, the tail. We could push it over and make a bridge. Oh, okay, awesome. Thank you for telling me, because I'm freaking out. Alright, hey, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. Come on, guys. Holy crap, these these are superhumans. <laughs> Good work, you two. Wow. Jolene, holy crap, you're more useful than I expected. We did it! Not only did we make it through all that, but now we've got these flares as well. That's sure to be helpful. Looks like it's starting to get back, get late. We should get back to the camp. This place is burned up anyway. There's nothing left here. Dude, just flares? I was hoping for like water, or food, or bandages, or anything else. Just flares? Okay, is George okay though? He's not banged up too, is he? Well, we found these flares. It was a rough run, but we made a pretty good team. On oh, that note, we weren't able to get any water. By the way, have you been hearing these like audio clips? Watch this. <laughs> uh, can anyone do anything around you? I feel like I'm back at the office. Meme meow. <laughs> you hear that? It's so funny. Um, well, I spent most of the day lost. Are you serious? How? Wasn't George with you? He thought he knew where he was going. We got a little separated. All the plants look the same. Let's get some shut eye. We can look into it tomorrow. Yeah, I think we could always we could always use some rest. I'll grab a torch. We should find our way over to the tent. Okay, so each night we do what? We talk to people. I'm really hungry, but we need to save these pretzels until we absolutely need them. Okay, so we got some pretzels and a flare case. So, um yeah. Let's see what these guys got to say about anything. I kind of want to talk to 
Garrett and George again because they did their own adventure. I want to see what the heck they're talking about. But let's let's see what Teddy's got doing. I'm telling you, we must come up with a, a way to signal to passing boats and things. Maybe we can get around to that tomorrow. The longer we wait, the more opportunities we may miss. You're right. I suppose that makes sense, but we'll have to take care of it tomorrow. Good, I'm glad you're seeing it my way. Now let's get some rest. I concur. Okay, yeah, I mean, it is a good idea, so let's do that tomorrow. Or should I say the next episode? Uh, but before I end it, let me talk to these people. Um, I haven't talked to her, so let's see. We've still got a lot of work to do. Yeah, it seems like the work is never gonna end. George always says that work is the best thing for you. I think that may be the only thing we disagree on. <laughs> well, maybe there's more than just one. From what I understand, no marriage is without a little disagreement. But I guess I shouldn't act as the authority on that. You'll see, one day that marriage could be a complicated thing. That's saying I get married. Um... Uh... Sure, I don't know if that matters much. Is there gonna be a prompt on the top left that says Jolene will remember that? <laughs> You're a strong woman, Rita. You ought to have everyone swooning over you. <laughs> Maybe. I'm gonna get some sleep. Good night, Rita. Okay, yeah, because this game has a lot of really big Telltale game series vibes going on. I, I want to talk to one of these guys. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo, George. So, you and Jolene travel a lot? Oh, yes, she loves to travel. Only her? Well, uh, I didn't mean... I really don't mind it. I do miss the safety of home when we're gone. I do it for Jolene, though. You two must really love each other. Well, yes. Yes, we do. Why the hesitation? Oh, I don't know. Things have been different lately. How so? Oh, that's not my business. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Um, I'm gonna be, like, less intrusive. Um, I'm not gonna say, oh, that's not my business. I'm gonna say, I'm sure you'll figure it out. I'm sure you guys figured out. You're a great couple. I sure hope so. I'm sure that it's nothing. I'm just being a little paranoid. Maybe getting stuck on this island would be good for us. We can have a simple life away from everything for a little while. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. You love each other, George. It's not my place to comment. Uh, that being kind of true. You love each other, George. I don't know, man. Maybe it wasn't meant to be. It's definitely nothing I'm, I would say. Uh, I'll say it's not my place. I wish I could help more, but I don't think it's my place to comment. Jolene and I have been through a lot together. Maybe we can get through this. Phew, I need some rest. Have a good night, Rita. For sure. <sighs> that torch is too low. It's time for me to go to sleep. Alright, guys. Uh, this has been Crystal Face. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode of Discourse. Might as well try and get some shut-eye.